Okay, so I made this lighthouse painting here. Um, but the only thing I didn't do so far is to make the the light coming from the lighthouse straight out here because somebody asked me to do a little video on how to do that. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So first thing you want to do is make sure that the light is going to go straight out as much as possible and that the light to begin with is going to be stronger than any other part of the light. So I'm going to make that as white as white is. You could also put some yellow in it if you want to, because that could even make it brighter. So I'm going to use in titanium white to make it go straight out. It's not only going to go straight out, but it's going to have a flare to it to where it spreads out. And actually, this isn't titanium white, this is zinc white. And the reason why zinc white is because zinc white is transparent. And that's what I want it to be, is like a transparent light for the most part. And for it to go straight out like that and it's it's the idea of just to keep working it and you don't you don't necessarily have to make it perfect but I make it as perfect as I can get it because when a beam comes out of a lighthouse or a sun ray or anything like that, it's going to be pretty straight. So, I think that looks pretty straight. I can't see it at a real good angle because the camera's in the way a little bit. Anyway, I think that looks pretty straight. So now I'm going to use titanium white because titanium white is opaque. It's not transparent, so I'm going to use it in the front part here. because I want the front, the first part to be white, white, very white. Because that's the strongest part of the light that's coming from the lighthouse. And you can see that the light is fading off a little bit and getting more transparent as it comes out here. So, the more you do that, the better it, the more convincing it's going to be. And if you want to, you can work on it and work on it and make it as perfect as you want it to be. So I think what I'm going to do is flare it out a little bit more. Not that it really has to be, but to make it to demonstrate this in a different way. It's kind of tedious. You know, it's not just making simple brush strokes or anything. It's it's a little more tedious than that. Got a little got a little rogue bliss bristle on there. And then you can make it thin out to where it just fades off. So 
So if you are going to flare it out to where it gets bigger as it goes, to where the, 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 the light ray goes wider, then you have to still start from here. to make it straight. Because if you start from here and you try to flare it out, then it's going to look funny. It has to flare out straight. It looks a little rough over here. from the texture of the paint I laid down before. That's another thing you gotta watch out for is making the uh, paint below it with less texture. I should have thought of that more, but it's okay. But yeah, this is kind of a tedious thing. And even though you're using zinc white and it's transparent, you still might want to add some water to it a little bit to make it even more transparent. If you notice that it's coming out a little too thick. And opaque. So I added a little bit of water and it's getting a little more transparent. The more you work on this, the better it's going to be because it's it's not it's not a, a thing where you can just walk up and do some quick brush stroke. It's something that you you gotta really work at and go over it and over it until it looks just right to you. And you know, it's it's a painting. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a matter of trying to make it look as convincing as possible. I think that's going to do. I think that's pretty good. Okay, that'll work. And I hope that explained it pretty good. You just have to, um, when you're making a light ray or something, you have to really work at it. That only took about eight minutes to do that, so that's not a big deal. And if you make a bigger painting, this is a pretty small painting here on this rock, but if you make a bigger painting, you would use a bigger brush, naturally. But it would be basically the same technique. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.